Hey everyone, it's Natty Albano here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna show you how I refreshed and revived my quarantine hair using Goldwell Soft Color. As per usual, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button, uh, leave a comment below, share this with your friends if you found it useful, and, um, and let me know how it goes. Send me some photos. I'd love to see uh, the results that you guys get wanted to go over a couple of things for today's tutorial and now with quarantine and all this you know these basically these two months of not being able to have my hair colored I basically am turning into a brunette so uh, I'm now going to show you how to blend out that demarcation line um, in the meantime before your next hair appointment so when we're looking at my hair today I'm predominantly a dark brown from mid lengths to pretty much the top of my ear or right to my cheekbone and then from the mid lengths down it's kind of this golden sort of uh, blonde so I'm gonna kind of go for more of that bronze look which means that we're gonna really tone down the blonde bits and then uh, this product does wash away because it's a demi permanent it doesn't last forever there's no huge commitment which is what I love about this so when I put this in my hair just to kind of tie me over once we're able to reopen then I can get my highlights put back into my hair and it's not gonna affect anything in the color now I'm gonna go ahead and use two tones. I'm gonna to start with the 8N. 8N is a sort of a nice medium blonde, and I'm gonna be applying that sort of to all the blonde bits. Then once I've applied that in the hair, I'm gonna go back in with a 6N, the darker color, and I'm just gonna kind of apply that more into the mid length so it kind of blends it in a little bit more. So I still have a slight um, ombre effect or that sort of you know um, variation of color from darkest to lightest. So you're gonna need some gloves because even though this is a foam, you still wanna make sure that you're protecting your hands um, and it does have a slight tint to it. So even though it's a foam, it's highly, highly conditioning. It really fills in that cuticle, makes the hair look super, super shiny, but it has that tint. So it'll definitely stain that blonde or stain that brown hair to kind of refresh it and revive it. And it's gonna just give you the most beautiful shine you've ever seen. So I've divided my hair, I've sectioned off my hair and I'm gonna work from the bottom up. So I'm gonna start, because the ends or the, the bottoms of my hair are already dark, I'm gonna go ahead and just put the 8N color at the bottom of my hair so that way it's a little easier and then as I work through I'm going to get the next section pretty much at the temple area work in through that product and then finish off with the top so you want to give the product a really really good shake um, it is a foam and I hope that you can see this as I'm applying it so it has a really great little nozzle and you literally just want to like put the foam in your hands and it just comes out like that okay blend it through my fingers or my hands and just apply it into the ends of the hair. And a little goes a long way. The stuff smells amazing, by the way. And that's it. So just grab all the hair from the back and just blend it right in. All right, so step one, I applied the 8N uh, soft color foam from the mid lengths of my hair all the way to my ends. I divided it up into sections, into about four subsections, and I applied it all in. You can already see that it's sort of toning down the color. I'm gonna now go in with the 6N, and I'm just gonna sort of blend that into that top layer just to kind of really create more of diffusion uh, through the color. I just went around my hairline just with a wet cloth and just wiped away any kind of like residue of the color just so it doesn't stain the skin. This product doesn't really stain the skin. It's really, really lightweight. It's really easy. Um, and then what you're going to want to do is use a wide tooth uh, comb like this and just, just comb through your hair. You can let it sit. The packaging says that you want to let it process for 15 to 25 minutes. So I'm going to just let it sit for 25. I'm going to check some emails and then uh, in no time I'll shampoo this and I'll show you the final result. All right guys, so I just washed out the soft color um, out of my hair. You can already see that the blonde is looking a little bit more smoky, a little bit deeper. And the whole point of this is it's not gonna make your hair a completely different color. It's a very, very, very sheer formula, uh, which is also a nice product to, to try if you wanna sort of play down uh, the color that you have um, without really affecting the result when you have to come back and let's say you change your mind, you don't wanna go a bit brighter. This product fades, it's a semi-permanent, it rinses out within a, you know, 
eight washes, uh, depending on how often you wash your hair. So anyways, I just wanted to show you, this is what it looks like wet. I'm gonna prep my hair and I'm gonna blow dry it and then we'll show you the final result. Before blow drying, I'm gonna use a slightly different formulation in my hair. I'm gonna go ahead and use the uh, foundation mist uh, in my hair. This is gonna give my hair heat protection. It's just gonna give it a tiny bit of hold, a lot of shine and luster. It's part of the signature brand from Orbe. And before I put that in, I'm gonna go ahead and use the Power Drops. Uh, this is the signature uh, Power Drops uh, formulation. This is gonna really hydrate the hair. It's gonna give it a lot of sheen and luster and all those beautiful proteins to make the hair nice and shiny. Um, and so this is what's gonna be as a leave-in serum that I'm gonna put from the mid-lengths to the ends of my hair right before blow drying. All right, you guys, so this is the final look. I am absolutely loving it. Um, I just love how just seamless that transition is. Again, this is, I refer to this as sort of like a self tanner for the hair. So you put it on, it gives you that deep, you know, rich, you know, reflective look, but then eventually it washes away the more you wash it. So, and then you need to apply it again. So the other great thing about this is that there's very, very little commitment. So I know that this will eventually lighten up again. It may not get as light as to where it was, but it definitely kind of toned down the color or turned down the volume of, of the brightness of the hair. And so when I come back in to get my highlights done, this is just gonna kind of give it another sort of layer to that really beautiful balayage effect that I love creating in my hair. If you are interested in, in testing this out uh, and you're kind of tired of your grown out blonde, this is a really, really great option that has zero commitment. It's semi-permanent, it's washable, it's really affordable. You can do this in the comfort of your own home. Uh, it took me literally like maybe a full, I'd say about 35 minutes to, from beginning to end. Um, so again, you'll want to start with shampooing your hair, apply this on clean hair, mid lengths to ends. I started with the lightest color first and then I went in and, and added the deeper color just to blend out that transition. I let it sit for 25 minutes. I rinsed it out. I shampooed my hair with KMS Moist Repair Shampoo and Conditioner. Um, I then used the Power Drops, um, the Signature's Power Drops by Orbe uh, to sort of on the ends of the hair to kind of create more hydration and moisture. And then I layered a little bit of the foundation mist of Orbe all over my hair, blow dried it smooth. Now I'm gonna give it a bit of a curl just to kind of like jazz it up and just see the dimensions of the color. And uh, so let's see what that looks like. Wow, you guys, I am loving my new color. And it took literally like 25 minutes. Uh, it, it just gives your hair so much shine. Now that I've added that curl, it's kind of got that nice, soft, like honey tone, ombre vibe. I've been so digging uh, Jessica Beale's hair and I feel like I'm getting there. And I think that the darkness kind of just gives the hair that extra bit of shine and sheen that it's been missing these past two months. So anyhow, if you love this look, give me a call, try out that soft color. It is amazing, it's gonna change your life. And I think for summer, I'm gonna go brunette. Like I think this is gonna be great. Imagine this with a really great tan. I mean, guys, and the best part is, is that for future when we are able to travel, we can bring this product with us in our suitcase and then in the sun, you know, our hair tends to fade and it looks a bit kind of dry and, and, um, and just like faded. This is a really great way of, of refreshing it. Now again, this product comes in various shades. So if you're really bright platinum blonde and you wanna maintain that sort of icy tone, we've got like a 10B and a 10P, which helps to like pearl and violet, helps to eliminate any brassy tones. If you're wanting to maintain that really pretty soft honey tone like this, uh, I would recommend like the 7N or the 8N. Um, and if you wanna create a lot of depth, I would go with the 5N or the 6N. Thank you so much for tuning in. I had so much fun with this tutorial. I really hope it inspires you guys and, uh, and, and I hope that you're still enjoying these tutorials. If you guys have any questions, uh, please leave me a message or give me a call and I'll be more than happy to support. See you next time, friends. Mwah.